you cultivate aggression into the mind of a person right from a very young age and if that person commits a crime why is that crime punished now this is where the aspect of self control comes in so even if you feel sad or worried or even feel lonely at sometimes what is the purpose of uploading a whatsapp status are you seeking attention the movies and songs are only a form of entertainment nothing much more than that it is only real life not real life everybody talking but they coming to the show from the pen and rolls as she wanna roll everybody talking but they coming to the show pulling up be no sorry hey guys sarfraz khan here welcome back to this channel the world is becoming more and more digital every single day and so are we we are just swimming in technology aren't we everywhere there is technology each and every single aspect of life whether it is education entertainment profession everything technology is present so let's talk about entertainment soon after you hear the word entertainment your mind would automatically go to movies and songs so that is a form of digital entertainment but i guess these days movies are not just a form of entertainment they are much more than that but on the other side i would also say that movies are slowly ruining us and that's what this video is going to be about if you're coming here for the first time and you're looking for ways to become the best ever version of yourself and gain amazing levels of knowledge you have come to the right place make sure you hit that subscribe button for new videos every week and without wasting any more time let's get into the video right now so back in the early days during the times of our parents and grandparents the movies weren't that much interesting and very impressive they were only normal it was more like seeing a stage drama on screen but now that's not the case extremely beautiful actors and actresses visual sound effects music and all those things automatically make a movie very impressive people are just craving to watch movies these days aren't they so if a movie gets more views and hits the box office automatically all the tv channels radio platforms and all the social media platforms start pushing it even more so back in the early days a movie was considered to be only a form of entertainment and the actors were only just actors but now that's not the case they are much more so movies are life and actors are role models so from all this you have heard right now you must have understood just one profound statement movies are influencing us more than we thought so let me tell you something right from your childhood to whatever age you are in right now i'm very sure that without being aware of yourself you have cultivated a mindset which was completely inspired from a movie it could have been anything like the way you walk or the way you speak with people or the way you dress or the way you make up your hair or the way you behave in public it could be anything totally but it could be totally inspired from a movie how interesting is that if it is something positive that's okay and well and good but what if it's something negative for example there are various qualities and various life lessons that we can learn from movies all the positive stuff is okay but what if it's something negative so if a movie is influencing you in a negative way whose fault is that the movie's fault or your fault so there is no definite answer for this question but one point is very clear we are being used who is using us anyone who comes up with an amazing movie so let me ask you something why are movies made these days of course yeah for the purpose of entertaining us but there has to be a more deeper purpose otherwise they won't be becoming more interesting each and every day so what is that secret purpose i would say that these days movies are only made for the sole purpose of making money just like i said before back in the early days movies were only a form of entertainment but now it is more of a business rather than entertainment who is the producer movie maker who is the consumer us what are we buying entertainment but what are we paying not only money we are paying our time behaviors emotion characters mindsets and much more things in that process we are losing ourselves especially children are very sensitive to movies their minds and hearts are very vulnerable when compared to us they can easily change them into a very different person as well we all know this right a child would try to do everything his favorite actor does if that is something positive or something which that child could learn from that is very positive and very well and good but what if it's something negative what if it's something on the other side like excessive aggression or intense violence or something like that and all those things shown in the video games like killing someone shooting someone everything okay let me give you an example a boy is being exposed to a lot of violence and aggression right from his childhood so when he grows up do you think he'll be a normal person and a very soft person definitely not he could become a person who hurts others emotionally and sometimes even physically okay done with the children so when it comes to teenagers and young adults action movies don't influence us anymore but there is something else what about drama what about emotional movies what about romantic movies and all those movies about life everything but they influence us in a very different way when compared to children we start connecting these movies to our real life situations like in our relationships our emotions our mindset and everything we really got to understand something real life is very different from real life 
Everything which happens in a movie will be very perfect and only according to the director's story. But in real life, things are uncertain and more serious. For example, you can't just stick to the way love is being shown in movies and start believing that that is real life and that's gonna happen to you as well. Definitely it won't. But on the other side, there are songs. I really don't understand what is the problem with these WhatsApp statuses. If you find a movie attractive because it consists of an emotional scene or a very emotional song, because the lyrics are so, you download that song and upload it to your WhatsApp status and connect it to your real life. Why do we do this? If we really want to appreciate that piece of music or that piece of scene, we should appreciate it as an art, as an art of writing or an art of music or the art of acting. But why you take things personally and emotionally and start confusing ourselves? That is movie and yours is a real life. And even if someone is angry on someone else, reflecting that in WhatsApp status also, what kind of act is that? Actually, who is going to care about all your emotional status, whatever you keep in WhatsApp status? Everyone has their own things to be busy with and concentrate on. And on the other side, there are social media platforms. Do you think they are not influencing you? Absolutely they are. If a movie or a song becomes very popular, they start pushing it even more. Okay, let me ask you something. How many of you know that most of the social media platforms these days are hiring people called attention engineers? So what is the work of these attention engineers? To make social media and its features as addictive as possible. Major social media companies take advantage of us by hiring attention engineers that use addictive principles such as those used in casinos to make their products as addictive as possible in order to maximize their own profits. You must have definitely noticed this. Every week or every two days once, Instagram comes with an update, Snapchat comes with an update. All these updates happening everywhere. Why? To keep us engaged, engaged, engaged. So all these social media platforms want to keep us liking, sharing, commenting, messaging, sliding, swiping in order to enjoy their reign of money. So all these attention engineers always keep our dopamine levels high. Now dopamine is something which is felt when you are enjoying something. That is what they are targeting. We all know that too much of anything is good for nothing. By that way, the same applies to dopamine levels. In the long term, it could cause anxiety, insomnia, aggression, hallucinations, lack of focus, lack of identity, loneliness and so on. So after all this you've heard, you must have understood what I'm trying to make you understand for a very long time. But on the other side, what is the goddamn solution for all this? Should we stop watching movies or should we stop hearing songs or should we stop using social media? Something like this? Not at all. Actually the solution over here is very easy but it's very hard to implement it. Of course, yes, it is hard to implement or use it, but it's definitely not impossible to do so. This is where the aspect of self-control comes in. You gotta just stay aware of what you're doing. Know what you're doing, that's it. And ask yourself these kind of questions. What am I doing right now? Does this thing have a purpose to me? Is this a benefit or a complete waste of time for me? Why am I doing this? Ask these kind of questions and you'll definitely get an answer on what you're doing. So the best way to gain any kind of self-control is to reduce temptations. For example, my phone is right in front of me here. The chances are very high that I'm not gonna stay focused on what I'm doing right now. I'll definitely pick up my phone and start scrolling through it. But on the other side, if I keep my phone in some other room, I'll definitely stay focused. This is a clear example of removing distractions and removing temptations. So if you want a clear understanding on how to remove distractions, you can watch this video over here. So when it comes to the exact solution regarding movies and songs, you gotta understand the following. Movies are only a form of entertainment and made for the sole purpose of making money these days. Whatever it is that is shown, something social, political, economic, personal, emotional, only regard it as a pastime. If you want to watch a movie, continue, enjoy and have a good time. And that's it. But don't get it into your head. And most importantly, stop praising all these actors. The more you praise them, the more money they make. And the more money they make, the more you lose your identity. If something being shown in a movie is positive and valuable, take it. But on the other side, if it is a complete waste of time, just get rid of it. So friends, I hope that this video has made some sense to you. I would be very happy if at least one of you changes your mind after this. So what are your thoughts about this video? Are movies positive, negative? Are they influencing you or are they not? Whatever it is, do you have any thoughts or comments or suggestions? Let me know in the comment section. So that's it for today guys. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family and drop your comments down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for new videos every week. Until next time, stay happy, stay motivated and believe in yourself.